Hey trackers. Today we're looking at this log, or rather these logs. And uh, you can see that there's been a lot of damage done and the logs have been opened and and kind of shredded looking. And this is the type of feeding sign you find from a black bear. These logs have been sitting here on the ground for a number of years now. And uh, as they sit here, the moisture gets into them and then the insects start to go in there. So you end up with beetles and carpenter ants and, and fungus and things um, getting into the wood. And that makes the wood really soft. And uh, also those, those critters all lay their eggs in there and then the larvae grow inside the wood. And so when those critters are in there and they're in the larval stage, they're a really good protein source and black bears will rip open those logs to eat those. So they're eating beetle larvae and grubs and, and ant larvae, whatever they can find that's in these logs that's edible, they will eat it. And to get to it, they scrape it open with their claws. And it's not difficult with old rotten logs like these, they open very easily. And uh, so they open them up, they use their long flexible tongue to lap up the uh, larvae or whatever is in there, and then they move on. So this log, this one, and then over here there's another one that's been opened up, and one beyond that's been opened. And as I've been coming along this trail, I've been noticing several logs here that have been opened. So the bears have gone through and fed on these. Right now it is fall. It's the beginning of fall, and the weather's turning cold, and soon these bears are going to den up for the winter. But in my area, I don't have really severe winters where there's a lot of snow. So the bears can be active any time of year. And uh, they're in a stage called hyperphagia right now, which means they're eating a lot. They're putting on a lot of calories because they need to uh, keep that weight on them so that they can survive the winter and not have to forage as much during winter. So even though they may be active during winter at times, they're not uh, in need of finding as many high calorie foods. So right now, the highest calories they're probably going to get are from the acorns, but also this, uh, the logs with all those larvae in them is a really good pre protein source. So they're eating that and trying to find as much to eat as they can before winter really sets in. I'll go look at the other log and show you that. So this log right here, just for comparison's sake, this shows a much different type of sign. This is the sign of the woodpeckers. So um, when the woodpeckers open these up, you find a lot more neat holes rather than the log just being shredded and pieces of it ending up all over the place. You find more neat holes, although they can, the woodpeckers can shred to a certain extent with their beaks because the pileated woodpecker, which lives out here, it's uh, about 18 inches tall. So it's a large woodpecker and a sturdy beak and it's able to get into these logs. But most of its sign is a lot more subtle than that of the bears where bears tend to just shred the logs, um, the woodpecker sign is much more neat. So this one right here could have been either the bear or the woodpecker um, because it's a rotting log and because the the, uh, the wood is very lightweight when it gets that to that stage, it's almost like a sponge. And uh, that one could have been either species. I'd have to get closer to it and look for claw marks. But in here, this amount of damage and this amount of, shall we say, heavier lifting um, the movement of this larger piece is only something that's done by bears. The woodpeckers aren't capable of moving a large piece of wood this big from the log. That seems like six feet long. So that had to have been done by the bear. And uh, they are after whatever protein source they can get within that log. So here's another one right here. With again, a large chunk has been moved, removed from the log, and that is black bear sign right there. So for comparison, the black bear sign is a lot more messy because they tend to just, they pull chunks off of it and discard them off to the side. Whereas the woodpecker uses its beak, so it's a, uh, the tool itself is like a chisel. And so they're chiseling the wood, they're trying to, to get under it, so they may throw little chunks off of the wood but they're not going to be huge chunks like this, three or six feet long. So with bears, you look for 
the messier type of sign. Also look for trampling around the log where the bear stood as it did uh, open it. Um, look for trampled ground, all kinds of vegetation that's been mashed down by the bear. And that'll help also because the woodpeckers aren't heavy animals and they won't leave that mashed down vegetation that you find with black bear sign. So in here, a lot of black bear feeding sign on logs. And uh, this is one of those signs that you can find wherever there's logs on the floor of the forest. And that's also why it's a good idea to leave them because those logs are a food source for so many animals. Not only the black bears and the woodpeckers, but also any of those insects or grubs from the ants, the beetles, etc. that use these um, as their home and as a, a food source.